so this will be my review of uh, my Honda VX787, which I uh, purchased from allpmp.com. You can see this is the packaging it came in. I don't know what they're thinking. A little rough around the edges in the packaging, obviously. We get to open it and see actually what uh, what's in store, but I wanted to make sure that we all could see what the packaging looked like. So, more to come. Okay, so I was pleased to see that um, allpmp.com uh, did ship the uh, the newer version. Uh, I was wondering if there'd be any of the older ones floating around. This is the uh, AC charger inside this packaging. Uh, the box, of course, was pretty rough looking, but uh, uh, what's inside looks like it's going to be okay. So we'll continue unwrapping and review a little more. Okay, so once unpackaged, uh, looks like everything's here. Our audio video cables uh, to hook up to the TV, USB cable, headphones, user manual, CD cloth, stylus pen, charger, uh, the player and the screen protector. Okay. Okay, so this is it unpackaged uh, with the screen protector on. I'm not going to get in depth on this because many people have already played the show you what it looks like when you take it out of the box game and go through all the functions. Uh, so I'll just make it real brief. Um, I'm going to power it on real quick and uh, make it real brief. Um, I purchased this on February 24th, so I did get it with version 4.0 of the firmware upgraded to 4.1. Uh, some of the text is a little goofy. Um, I'll probably do some modding to make it function better. But, uh, you know, uh, it seems to work pretty well. It's a pretty good video player. Um, little goofy things here and there. Um, next, I'll go to... Uh, using the TV out in order to uh, show you how that works. But beyond that, I'm going to do nothing more here because you can look at plenty other reviews which show you all the functions going through uh, you know, what 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 music and you know just everything else does. And quite frankly, I don't know. There's a little bit too much glare here to really show you anyway. So um, next, we're doing the TV output. Okay, here I'm going to show you how to hook your uh, Onda VX787 up to your television set to view your video on your television. I have a 47-inch plasma screen. I've already hooked it all up to avoid dangling power to avoid uh, power cables being dangled around and stuff and and whatnot while I'm uh, trying to video it. So I've hooked it up to my VCR DVD combo and set it up so it receives it through that. I plug the cable in there into the output, which uh, the video output and audio output also is the same thing as a headphone output. Now I'll start my video. Sorry it's a little shaky. I'm trying to do both at the same time. Start my video and as you can see it starts. Okay, Now what I'll do is I'll hit in the top left corner, I'll hit the little icon there, which actually is the icon that switches it over to the TV. This screen will go blank and you'll hear your audio and your video actually on your TV set now. And the actual audio video output on this is actually pretty good. Um, it's a little grainy right now um, because I had to select a lower resolution in order to get um, it to not be jittery or, or lose audio and video sync. Um, I'm working on that. Uh, I think I can get a little bit better than this, but probably as you're looking at it, you're probably thinking it looks pretty good. Um, but on the player, it looks great. Now, at this point, um, you don't have a lot of options as far as what you can do as far as uh, volume um, on the player or fast forward rewinding, pausing, and whatnot. But what you can do is you can hit the menu button on this, and unless you have other videos loaded up, what this will do is it will actually just restart it. Uh, by tapping and holding the menu button, it starts the whole program over again. And if you tap your on-off button, it will switch back to the player, see, like this, and off of the TV. And this will allow you to make any adjustments to the movie, like, like fast forwarding or adjusting the volume on here, which um, also adjusts the volume output here to the TV, meaning if your volume on your TV is too low, uh, you can turn it up here. 
So again, I hit the power button, just tap the power button long enough um, for it to, to switch back to the player. Now, to get back to um, the TV, tap the screen, and on the top left corner, just as before, I'll hold that button down on the screen. And it'll switch back over like so. And now it's back on the TV. Once again, if you want to make any adjustments, you hold down the power button. And just for about a second, and it will switch over to the player. It's kind of a little, um, at this point, uh, you, you've got to get the timing down because a lot of times what happens is, is it'll just shut the player down as, as, as it did for me because it doubles as a, as a switch to switch back over to the player and as an on-off button. So if you, it, you, you, I think you've got like about a half a second to where you haven't held it long enough to where if you hold it too long, you end up um, turning the player off. But that's how you go back from the TV to the player. Just simply unplugging the jack does not turn it back over to the player. You simply will have a dead player, and you'll have to hit the start, start or the on-off button to get back to it again. Anyhow, that's uh, how you get the, uh, the TV um, output on the VX787.